Welcome back to Judo Breakdowns, your source for judo commentary on the internet. And what I have for you today is a match from the Grand Slam in Baku 2022 uh, between, in white, Lasha Shav, uh, Datua Shvili from Georgia, obviously, and Salvador Casas uh, Roca from uh, Spain. So let's, uh, let's maybe fast forward. I don't know what's going on. Okay, oh, too far. Here we go. Alright, so Salvador going in with the uh, Ochi. With Lasha. Oh! I think that was a Sasai. But uh, that happened fast. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. Just getting grips, a lot of sort of grip fighting here. The nice, a little drop, but you know, only about a quarter through the body. Okay. They're both getting penalized. But, I mean, you could probably penalize them for lots of stuff at this point. Not a lot's been going on. All right. He just ripped grips, so that's going to be pretty bad. So Salvador gets a second Cheeto. He's not going to have basically any more leeway. So Salvador's got to really uh, just commit now to attacking. Grip and go. Grip and go. Let's do it. <laughs> Come on. Okay. So the Pulse AOA attempt by Salvador doesn't quite get across or low. It's pretty high up. So uh, not surprising that it didn't get anywhere. Lasha with that uh, I don't know what he's doing really like I think he's just gripping I I would be worried because if uh, Salvador gets another attack in you know it's do you give credit for that <laughs> that's a sigh okay well, maybe then alright never mind I was about to say like if, if Salvador got a couple of attacks in then he could equal up the Shido's by, uh, you know, by Lasha uh, was able to uh, get an attack. Okay. That under armpit a grip by uh, Salvador. Oh, both both are grabbing the belt. Okay, but Lasha was able to turn that belt grip into more of his advantage, but still neither was able to get the throw. Oh, what? Wait. Is that a Shido for holding the belt? Is that not okay? It looked like he attacked, so I'm a little bit confused by that. Okay, there it is. That's a pole. There we go. There we go. Oh, okay. I don't know what Lasha's saying to Salvador. Is he okay? Did he land on his head? Okay. Well, congratulations to Lasha on the pole there. Uh, obviously, Salvador... 
not too happy about the result, but let's have a look at the uh, winning throw. There we go. Just really... It would use his length to get that uh, back of his heel uh, past the knee. And I always think that a lot of these throws, the drive comes from this back leg. So the back leg and the leaning of the upper body. You can see how Lasha leans into it and is pumping with that left leg to really uh, get the throw going. So, you know, if you're thinking about implementing a throw like this in your own uh, you know, repertoire, consider training uh, your off leg to really drive because that, that'll, that I think, uh, work really well for um, turning what would be non-attacks into Wazaris and turning Wazaris into Epons, you know? So, uh, congratulations to Lasha on the Yapon victory. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit like. If you uh, want to see more, consider subscribing. And until next match, have a great night.